Hello and welcome. I'm Anna Rose White and this is Beehive Quilt Shop and I have a very special guest with us today and this is, can you introduce yourself? Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Stevens. And Kelly is, um, she is a, an amazing person and I've only known you for a few years but uh, Kelly has recently moved back to Kansas which is very exciting for us. Yes. Yay. Yes and so um, Kelly I, like I know a lot of people that have made amazing bags and stuff like that and um, and great encouragers, great teachers, but I really think Kelly is one of the best and uh, she really is this phenomenal pro. I'm going to brag about her because she won't brag about herself, but she is this amazing by Annie bag maker and just bag making in general. And so Kelly has these awesome tips and different things and we're going to be having more classes that Kelly will be teaching here at Beehive Quilt Shop and at the retreat house. And yes. so we're so excited to share the bag making love and tips and tricks and anything to help make it easier. Yeah. So Kelly was telling me just a little bit ago, you said, when did you start making bags or how long have you been making them ish? Well, bags, I started sewing, making bags probably back in 2011. And I started making by Annie bags, which I'd fallen hopelessly in love with back in 2000, I think in 18. And it's been kind of nonstop since then. I'm a little obsessed. Yes, and so she has just some excellent tips on like everything from binding, putting in zippers, all that kind of good stuff. And so we were really delighted. We just got back from the H&H &H show um, in Chicago not that long ago. And so Annie released some new um, patterns and Kelly has already whipped them all up. So we're going to give you a little tour um, of what are these new patterns from by Annie, um, their names and a little bit about their sizes. And we'll tell you what fabrics um, Kelly used in them because that's always helpful to know. So. Let's start with uh, yes. this beauty right over here. This guy is the new eye case. It's updated. Um, she's added some extra depth to the larger sizes. Um, it comes in four sizes now, and I think the old one, it was just two. Um, this is the extra large, and I think it's fabulous. It's made with Tula Pink's new Roar line, and I also added some of her mineral mineral which beautiful. i love mineral and we've got just it's got a beautiful awesome back zippered pocket and inside we've got room for your ipad um i think this would be a great business folder for any business person in your life and it was a super quick make and her instructions just make everything a little bit easier in yeah. the bag making world yeah so that, that would be a that would be a good one for somebody who's just thinking about making bags too maybe for the first time would be oh i think so it'd be right there and i think so age, you know so that that's yeah. always a good thing because i hear so many times people are like i really want to start making bags but where do i start and yes. so sometimes it is like, do you start with organization or do you start with like more of a purse type thing? And so, right. I think, yeah, something more, a little more flat like this is going to be a little bit easier and it's a good segue into making some it. of the more yeah. bigger bags. And yeah. So tell me about this one. We know this one has a great, we have the great name. I think yes, it's a great name. This one is called Hot and Heavy. We love and that. And <laughs> we do, we do love the name. It's, I think it's a little punny. It is. It is a little punny. It's, these were specifically designed, I think uh, Annie said that Tula, Tula Pink asked her to design bags for her irons for when she travels to retreats. Yes. And I will have to say Annie knocked it out of the park with this one. I like that it zips all the way down onto the sides. I yes. love that. And we've got our gussets so nothing's ever going to fall out if you didn't want to use it for your iron. Um, yes, she's this could really make a nice purse. It could be a nice you know absolutely you could put a lot of barbies in here yes know? i was thinking that for my mm -hmm. granddaughters mm -hmm. absolutely already traveling to Gigi's house yes um she's added this wonderful mesh pocket for depth of things and i just i think it's a great great pattern and yeah and i bet that even fits like the little the water filler upper yes you know? absolutely the yep. tank and yep. so tula's new iron it has the whole thing like don't feed the fish which i think is hilarious but yes that's why i had to put the fish on this one yes so this yes. is from besties it's the goldfish and i also love one of my favorite things about when i see people that make bags is like you can have bolder color combinations yes. so i love the the tiny dots from tula pink um i think this is the watermelon color yeah but it looks really good but a uh, public service announcement about Alyssa irons is that they do require tap water or mineral water if Which you have too hard of water. Yeah, so I did a, not know that. Yeah, so a lot of irons use um, distilled water. You know, people will try to do that, but you don't want to use distilled. If you if you get your a new Alyssa or you open it up or you look at the manufacturers, mm -hmm. 
it clearly states in their directions, like, please use mineral water because the mechanics in their iron require that. Yes. So it is very important yeah. on Oliso irons to keep them um, full of mineral water because if you're going to do that, that's a great thing. Yes. And another best practice, which I'm definitely guilty of not doing this, but the best thing to do is if you are not gonna, like you're gonna go on vacation, yes. um, the best thing to do is not to leave just like holding water in your Oliso tank for more than a couple days and then to go ahead and dump it out. Yeah, so, so if you, you are gonna leave and go to a class or you're going to a retreat, especially if you're putting it in this hot and heavy bag, you know, yeah. go ahead and drain your water ahead of time. It's got a nice little concave, you know, spout for you to tip it out of the tank. Yes. Or just keep quilting until you've used all the steam right. in it. Yeah, keep going. But just that's a good just maintenance thing. So keep your Alyssa iron, you know, nice and flat. It also, it loves that too. But I think this is, you know, have a mini, have a big one. Yes. You can make them match. Absolutely. Or, or you can make them different. Yeah, and this one is cool. I, I didn't add the D-rings on this one, but you could actually add a crossbody strap or a longer strap to this if you prefer to carry it that way. I thought that was pretty great. And yeah. you can also do that mm -hmm. on this bag as well. I love that. That's a very, you know, multifunction, multifunction yes. piece. So this is fun. And this is Brassica, which is from K Fawcett Fabric. So it's a beautiful piece. And so then um, we have a mom is coming in as a guest. And so now we've got two other patterns to show them, um, which is great. So. Which one do you, which one should we do next? And I can't remember this. Oh, that's okay. I, um, this was one, I think this is the one that I think so many, many, many people are very excited about. This one is called Drop Zone and it comes in three sizes and I've made all three sizes. We've got our small. We now have our producer. Our so mom, you can also uh, <laughs> you just use the screen to zoom in mom if you want to, but she's also holding the camera there. And then so, we've got our large. And I, I've already been asked by so many people, what will you use these for? And my answer to that is anything you want. Um, I know you can, this would be perfect to put your binding clips in. Um, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure this would fit little LOL dolls to go to, oh, to, to go in the next house. Mm -hmm. um, makeup brushes. I think art you know, supplies. Oh yeah, a lot of people are doing English paper piecing too. Yes. You know, and so you can't. You know, there's just so many different things you can do it with. I know when. Um, it's just it's nice to have something just to drop and go. Mm -hmm. it, it is. It is, and it zips mm -hmm. up real nice. And um, she, uh, you can add some hardware. And I keep thinking, how cute would this be for a diaper bag to put little things in here, mm. zip it up, and then clip it inside your diaper bag mm -hmm. or you know on the outside of the stroller. Um, you know, I just so like so many things. Mm -hmm. You could have it open yeah. on your nightstand to put your jewelry in. Like, oh, mm -hmm. that's a great one. That's a great one. Um, one of the other things I love about this. So this one, you've got one person was asking me the other day about like what what are the trends, and I'm like, what I don't know. I have to think about this. But it is very trendy to have straight zipper tape. Oh, that yes. is definitely always a great yes. thing to do if you want to make something just a little, you know, a little elevated. You know, put in a little striped zipper. That's yes. It. But, this is great bee fabric. I have forgotten the name of some of these lines, but we have a great category on our website. It's just called bee and honey themed fabric. <laughs> You'll find it there. I thought it was just the perfect fabric for the beehive samples. Yes. Yeah. And then this one, we don't remember the name because we're having too much fun, but we will link to this <laughs> pattern um, in, the, in the description. But this, I also am very excited about myself because I travel and do collaging. I feel like I'm always having scissors. And yes. I just hate it when those scissors try to stab out through something else. Yes. So these are a great, um, it has a good punny name. I don't remember what it is either. I know. It's like, I... it could be called cutting edge. I'm not sure what it is, but again, we'll put it in the comments. So, <laughs> but the big thing is that it's a good zipper piece. And it's, I don't know, there. it comes in a small and a large size. These were just such quick makes. Um, again, just, I can never say enough good things about the way um, Annie's patterns are written. Um, you, it's got a little, I know people were asking how it closes. It does have a magnet in here that will help keep it closed, um, keep things from falling out. Um, I, I see just, this would just be such an, a great gift for the sewist or the maker in your life. Cause mm -hmm. everybody's Even a got Even a hairstylist perhaps, you know? Yes. They, they care about Absolutely. scissors too. You know? They do. They pay a lot of money for those scissors. Yes, they yes. do. Mm -hmm. Just like a, a good chef. So um, great tour of these bags, Kelly. We are looking forward to you having more. Uh, in fact, mom, could you just show us one of those ultimate travel bags? We're going to sneak in. This is not one that is a uh, new pattern. 
Um, but this is something that's one of Kelly's mm -hmm. specialties that we've got coming up. So we just have to we have to show you these also. It's We're my, going rogue here a little bit. My absolute very favorite by any pattern is the Ultimate Travel Bag. And I don't even know if I remember how many times I've made it. I was going to say, do you know now. how many times you've made I, it? I, I, I really don't five, think I know. Five, no, six. No, I think we're more close to 13. 13. I wow, 13. 13. So very doable. <laughs> very doable. Yes. Um, Just give us a quick tour of the back. Well, this is our front, and we have a wonderful slit pocket with the zippered pocket as well. Um, I know her pattern has changed from the old Ultimate Travel. She's added um, a bellow pocket on the side so we can put fatter things in like a water bottle. Um, this is the back pocket. Um, this is one that she normally has a trolley sleeve on. Um, I didn't want to cover up the queen's magical face, nor did I have it in me that day to fussy cut a trolley strap, which uh -huh. I have seen many people do beautifully. Um, but you can make this with a trolley strap to put on your uh, roller luggage. Um, and then obviously we've got our side tabs here so you can carry a crossbody, shoulder style. Um, it's the handles are long enough you can carry it on your arm um, and it's just the capacity that it can hold is is a lot uh, it, it is my absolute favorite travel bag it fits under the seat um, it holds everything I need Very for important. yes it holds everything I need for a weekend trip to see my babies and I just I love this bag I think it's got the most beautiful shape I don't think I'm ever gonna tire of making it yes and, well, yeah. it's just gorgeous. So I know you're going to make Thank lots you. of people, their their bag dreams come true um, <laughs> through education. And um, just giving yourself permission that you can you can make bags too. You can be self-taught. You can take a class from Kelly. Um, but just don't be brave. And you can you can start making bags because my Annie has great patterns she and does. videos. So she you're really going to be in good hands no matter um, how you approach bags. So we hope you've enjoyed this tour of my Annie bags and meeting um, Kelly. And so we are just delighted. So we'll see you sometime <laughs> soon. And thanks for watching.